Your quadcopters come in together very well. Great job. It's time to mount our flight controller on the stack, but wait a minute, we're not ready yet. We have a little wire housekeeping to do. We need to take the camera wire and place it through the two front standoffs towards the curved front where the camera will be. And the video transmitter wire has to go through the back standoffs, clearing this with its four wires, just like that. Also, we need to take our power wire for our flight controller and also bring that up through the center. So everything comes through the center and there's no wires exposed on the sides. Now we can place our flight controller on the stack. And down it goes. Push your flight controller down as far as it will go so it bottoms out on the standoffs. It's now time for you to connect your ESCs to your flight controller pins. Begin by taking your video wire and your power wire and moving them out of the way. You may want to even tuck them underneath the arms just for safekeeping. Remember when we scratch numbers into the pins? There's the number four. We need to look for the number one pin. We're going to start with number one. That's a three. There's a one. Back here you'll notice we have numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pin one is where we're going to place number one. Also note we have the wire colors white and black. White is the sense wire and we want that on top because this furthest pin here is for the sense wire. The black wire is on the bottom and that's because the pin closest to the edge of the board is the ground wire. Ground on the bottom and sense on the top. Nothing on the middle pin. Let's find pin number two now. That looks like two and we just keep repeating the process. Push that in, find pin number three, and pin number four. There you go. All the way on. Again, make sure all the white wires are on the top and all the black wires on the bottom. Congratulations, you just wired up all your ESCs to your flight controller. Next, let's take the power wire. The power wire goes on either pin 5 or 6. Normally I put it on pin 6, but I'm going to put it on pin 5 for a good reason, and I'll show you why in a moment. Also notice we have the ground wire and the power wire. As I mentioned earlier, the ground wire is on the bottom. So in this case, the red wire goes to the middle and the black wire goes to the bottom, and nothing is on, nothing is on top. And we're going to take that and place that on pin 5 or 6. I'm going to put it on pin 5. The reason I'm putting the power on pin 5 instead of 6 is because I like to put a little bit of hot glue on the servo connectors to the servo pin holders to help hold them in place while in flight. If I need to move things around, I can easily pick off the hot glue and make adjustments. You recall the pins we installed for our buzzer, and we made our modular buzzer. So let's connect that right now. When we built our buzzer, we were very mindful of the polarity. Purple is positive and gray is ground. Ground goes down and positive goes up. So very simply, slip it on like that with the purple wire on top and now you have a fully operational buzzer on your quadcopter. Now that your flight controller is seated on its standoffs and all wired up, we have one more thing to do. We need to take our nylon standoffs and secure it to the airframe. Take your four standoffs and screw them all the way down. You may have a little resistance when you're screwing it down by your spectrum connector, but that's okay. It'll just find its way down. Make it nice and tight so it doesn't go anywhere. You can use your 5.5 millimeter wrench for a little more tightening if you choose. Make sure they're all about the same tightness down. You don't need to over tighten them. See on this side, you can't use that. I need to use this wrench. And that's good. Make them all about the same amount of torque. 
not too much nylon will break if you give it too much torque. Great job. Your flight controller is firmly secured on your airframe.